So dementia is not typically a comedic thing, but for somehow, some way, this movie found a way to make it that twice in a row now. So with that being said, let's jump into the review of this film that I'm talking about right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. So today we're reviewing the film Dementia Part 2, which is going to be hitting theaters May 21st and then on demand digital and on DVD June 1st. So a couple of things I want to throw out there right away. Um, I did check out the first film, and th th believe it or not, they're not actually connected. I thought I needed to watch the first one t in order to, um, you know, fully understand and appreciate what this film was. But they're not connected, although they sort of use the same concept. Uh, so, you know, if you have not seen the first one, you don't have to go out the way to do so to appreciate this one. This one is a standalone, but the two films do kind of have um, the same concept theme between the both of them. Uh, number two, I always complain about how long movies are. This movie is an hour and six minutes. This might be one of the shortest films that I've watched uh, this year. Definitely has to be. Like, I don't even think it's a question. I, I watched a, a couple of TV series that had episodes that was longer than this. So this is an extremely short film, short, sweet, and to the point. It also is shot in beautiful noir, black and white neo-noir, uh, because it's a midnight horror film. And again, because, again, the, the title is Dementia Part 2, you know, like I said, dementia is typically not a funny thing, nothing to really find jokes about. It's a really serious thing and it really is challenging for people who's ever been through it. But this film did uh, use that and decided to um, throw some comedy in there with it along with bridging the horror that is really surfaced around dementia. And ultimately this is just a fun movie if this is your definition of fun. Uh, because while there is a sort of quirky things kind of happening and very um and very, I don't know, witty type of characters, shall I say? Maybe, I don't know. I got to think of another word instead of witty. Um, it also adds some gore in there. And like sometimes when you add the gore, which can be a little bit disgusting, a little bit of icky, whatever it may be. Um, if that's what you consider to be fun, if that's your type of humor and, 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 and or comedy, then, you know, it works. But if not, then it could kind of be like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but... I will say that, you know, the characters, uh, first of all, I want to start off by talking about the director, writer, and actor, Matt Mercer, who plays uh, Wendell in here. Wendell is an ex-con, and he's basically told by his parole officer, hey, if you don't get a job, certainly, there's going to be some repercussions to that, uh, some legal repercussions. And so he takes his uh, job as a plumber, and he goes into this lady's house, Suzanne, who's also played, I mean, played by... The uh, Suzanne Boss, the character Suzanne. So, yeah, who is an older lady who is suffering with dementia? <laughs> and while he's trying to complete the job, Suzanne is absolutely uh, going way overboard <laughs> with some of her interactions with him. But also, it's like a reset button with her because of the dementia that, like, they're having a whole blown, full blown conversation about something. The next thing you know, she's very hostile towards him, like, who are you? Why are you in my house? And so on. And yeah, so, you know, while that's kind of happening, um, you know, Wendell's pretty much stuck between a, hard, a rock and a hard place because if he doesn't complete the job, then he could go back to jail. But he also, if he stays in this job, you know, it could be, I don't know, some other random things that could happen because like, yeah, Suzanne is really, um, she's an interesting case, shall I say. <laughs> But at the same time, too, with her suffering from dementia, she also is going through the lapse of like, where's her husband? I thought he was alive. No, he's not alive. He's dead. Wait, who are you, Wendell, again? Oh, I know who you are. Wait. And like all sorts of things. I mean, we're talking about flirting with him at a time, trying to kill him at a time, all sorts of things. And then, like I said, there's a bunch of like really... Uh, interesting gory type of things happening here <laughs> uh which again you know if that is your cup of tea then 
it works for you. And I, you know, it, it is what it is. But like I said, it, it is it is pretty gross at time. And if you do consider that to be your type of fun, you'll have a good time with it. And it's only hours. So like, you know, if you don't have nothing better else to do, like definitely check it out. Um, this film did hit a ton of film festivals um, back in 2017 and 2018. So there are a bunch of reviews out and so on with it. But, you know, you know, my personal feelings um uh, here is that like it was just a fun film it was a short watch it, it definitely was shot beautifully i like the black and white noir with this um i did the, i thought all the characters were very likable even suzanne who was the one that was really um taking us on a, a very interesting experience when you know all wendell wanted to do was just fix her pipes <laughs> but uh at the same time too uh you know her her dementia is not just dementia because it also comes with a extra bit of evil attached to her. So she's going through like a slight transformation into some type of a demon and all types of like, I don't know if it's blood or if it's like tar, but you know, she's oozing. And uh, I think she's been like, I, I, I definitely think she's died and been brought back to life a few times in this film. So, like, it gets crazy. But overall, I think you're, the best thing with this film is that if you appreciate just the fun film and just letting it do what it do and not think too hard about it and just, you know, enjoy it, you'll have a good time with it. You know, it, it doesn't take itself serious. And if you just do the same, then you'll, you'll be fine with it. But again, this is Dementia part two you do not have to watch part one in order to appreciate this and as as i said it will be in theaters may 21st video on demand dvd and digital june 1st so definitely drop it in the comments let me know what you thought about this film would you check it out if you have already checked it out from the film festival circuit let me know and as always folks stay tuned because we got more reviews coming very soon thank you for watching folks